What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video we're talking about iOS 15 jailbreaking for those of you who are waiting for that and some news in the community. This video is brought to you by AnyTrans, a software that allows you to make backups of your iPhone and of course transfer the social media applications from one device to another. Definitely check it out in the links below, it's a great software. Also thanks to the patrons that support this channel on Patreon, they are now on your screen. Alright, so we have some news from BrideyApp, a security researcher who has found vulnerabilities in iOS. Now if you remember Remember, Bridia posted this hello CVE 2021 30955 and they said it's much more stable now. Now this was back two months ago, back in December, and they said over in here that they will disclose the information, they will disclose the exploit in the next two months. According to them they said quote, according to our lab's regulations we will disclose all the details in two months, can't wait to share that. Well it turns out this has been pretty bad for Bridia because apparently people have been harassing this developer into releasing faster and faster and faster and it turns out that two months were actually just an estimate, it could take a little bit longer and today they posted this, quote, the biggest mistake I've made in the last two months is saying in two months, two months ago, but that's an estimated time. So yes, the ATA kids did get to this person and harass them into releasing because you said two months and stuff like that. Well people have to understand that the security researchers usually work for a company that does security research and in this case they do because they mentioned a lab and those labs or companies have regulations with the security vulnerabilities they find and when they can be released. So please don't harass people like Brighty App into releasing, they will release their vulnerability and we will have a jailbreak but let them do their thing, it's not only up to them, they have to get the permission to release the vulnerability from the company they work for. So for those of you waiting for the iOS 15 jailbreak, it's coming, please be patient, it's harder than ever to jailbreak iOS and we should be thankful that people still do it. In other news, the Havoc repo got released. So they posted this in here, quote, today Havoc is launching as Packix successor. So they posted this news piece over here in which they basically say that this is going to be a replacement for the Packix repo which is shutting down. Basically Packix repo which was one of the biggest repos in our community, I think it started back in 2017 and it did serve a lot of packages to a lot of people including paid ones, it was one of the modern repos along with Charis repo. Well Packix is shutting down because Andrew Wick, the person who was behind it, doesn't have enough time for it anymore and they moved on to other projects. However, the Packix repo will go into a state of archival on August 15 according to this website here and then you will be able to download the free packages but you will not be able to get the paid ones which usually the paid ones are the best, not always but usually. So to fix that the Havoc team basically released this, it's a brand new repo and you will be able to get most of the popular paid packages. It looks good, it looks nice, it looks basically like Packix, it's modern and I'm pretty sure developers will get to love it and of course the people in the jailbreak community will get to love it. So yes, if you take a look here on their timeline, they basically announced it yesterday on February 15 and this is going to be the next Packix. So this one will be available at Havoc.app, you will be able to make an account, add it to Cydia and still get your paid packages and stuff like that. It will also have free packages as you can see from here but also the paid ones which is nice because you will continue to be able to get them, they have modern depictions and modern descriptions like Packix used to so the jailbreaking continues on. So yes, that's definitely great news, it's bad that Packix is dying and it will go in a state of archival but it's great that something will replace it. It means that the community is very much still active in the background. As for those of you who are waiting for a jailbreak and for Bridie App to release his vulnerability, they will post their vulnerability and their vulnerability is likely very useful for jailbreak purposes but please be patient while you wait for it. So yeah, they did not say they're not going to release it anymore, it's just that the two months were an estimation or a guess, so we still need to wait for that before we can update on cover in Torin. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.